New tonight, we're hearing from a Sri Lankan woman who studies right here in Indianapolis. She's from Colombo. She was visiting family when the deadly blast shook the city. News 8's Julia Dang talked to her in the aftermath of the attacks. And Julia, we're learning she's stepping in to help the victims tonight. Yeah, that's right, Jenny. Dr. Pooja Amara Singha says she's grateful her daughter stayed behind in Indiana and isn't with them on what should have been a celebratory family vacation. <laughs> Being here. 9,000 miles from Indy, Dr. Pooja Amara Singha told me her story via Skype. She's in Colombo, the capital city of Sri Lanka, where she grew up, attended college, and completed her medical training. Pooja is now a PhD candidate at IUPUI in Indianapolis. Indiana is a very nice place, which is my second home. Tonight, her hometown is battered and bloody. Sri Lankan leaders believe division may have fueled the attacks. Pooja says terror has united Colombo. Each and every person, irrespective of their race, language, and what their religion, we all are afraid at the moment. She flew to Colombo three days ago to bring in the Sri Lankan New Year with her family. They were at a party when they learned about the deadly attacks. We were doing the games, the traditional suddenly we heard this incident and all the things were cancelled and all the people went home and people run for helping the others and I went to the hospital. She shared images of other medical relief trips where she helped in a war zone and after a tsunami. But Pooja couldn't bring herself to share what she saw in that Colombo hospital. I'm afraid to go outside and travel on roads at the moment. Still, she and others have rallied to help hundreds wounded this Easter Sunday. The people, they rushed to the hospitals, to the blood banks. Pooja's family is safe tonight, but she tells me she had a friend who was in one of the churches where a bomb went off. Live in the studio, Julia Dang, Wish TV, News 8.